and welcome to Canvas News. I'm Trinity Coleman, and I'm a trainer. And I'm Michelle Sorso, also a trainer. Canvas News has been in hibernation for a while, but we want to bring it back. That's right, Trinity. We hope to provide you with a new broadcast every couple of weeks with all the things you need to know, plus a few fun segments here and there. To start off with some announcements, we currently have 69.3 open hours, so if you're looking for some new shifts, come on up to the hub and sign some on. Definitely be here early Friday morning to catch them while you can. The trainers have been hard at work updating the rubrics we use to grade evaluations and spot checks. If you want to take a look at what you will be graded on, those rubrics are linked in your most recent safety team email. That's good to know. Does the new rubric mean the evaluations will be harder? Not at all, Trinity. We made some changes to make it more objective and added a few things that weren't included previously, like radio usage. It won't negatively affect your ability to get a good score. Now, Michelle, have you ever had a difficult interaction with a passenger? Who hasn't? I had one recently, actually. Ah, the beautiful world of customer service. Well, in case you need a refresher on how to deal with difficult passengers, there's a table in the employee manual that shows what action to take based on passenger behavior. How handy. I definitely forgot about that from my ELDT sessions. Yeah. Well, that's all we have for announcements, so now we'll go ahead and hand it off to Caleb Schinderling for the CAN bus construction report. Hi, I'm Caleb, and this is the CAN bus construction report. I'll be covering all of your local construction and how it might affect your route. First off, on Newton Road, we're seeing a continuation of cones between the Hardin Library stop and the Dental College stop. Make sure you're watching out for these cones and the key bright signs to make sure you're in the right lane. Next up, in the Finkbine commuter lot, construction is progressing towards the Finkbine South cutouts. Make sure you're watching for construction vehicles passing through and alternate routes passengers may be taking to get to your bus. Next up, on Mormon Trek Boulevard, construction is pushing through and it has moved from the right lane to the left lane. Make sure you're watching out for the changes in the cones and go slow around construction zones. If you're somebody who likes driving Research Park, there's a slight detour because of construction on Old Hospital Road. Now, to service the east lot, you'll need to do a loop around IREH. Last but not least, we are expecting construction to start up again on Madison Street near the main library sometime in mid-July. We'll have more information on this as time progresses. That's all for the CAN bus construction report. I'm Caleb. Back to you, Trinity. Thanks, Caleb, for that report. If you have any questions about construction or want to see a reroute map, look at your safety team email or ask the dispatcher about it when clocking in for a shift. Moving on to our next segment, support shoutouts. We plan to interview a few support members on each broadcast so you can get to know them and put a face to the name. Or if you're like me and bad with names, a name to the face. Okay. All right, here's our fellow trainer, Mary, interviewing the... Hi, this is Mary. I'm here with support shoutouts. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, I'm Vivian. I am the dispatch supervisor. Um, and what are you studying? I am going into my fourth year. I'm studying environmental science and geographic information science. Awesome. And can you tell me about one of your standout campus memories? Yeah, I would say my favorite memory um, from starting at campus is my first ever um, dispatch shift. Um, a lot of things happened during that time, so <laughs> it was just, yeah, really memorable. <laughs> and if you could live in any fictional universe, where would you live and why? Um, I would say Avatar. Um, I think the movies are great, um, so yeah. <laughs> cool. So great to learn more about our fantastic support team. Wrapping up, we wanted to make Canvas News interactive and fun for all the drivers at Canvas. So, at the end of each broadcast, we will ask a question about Canvas policy. That's right, Michelle. And the first person to comment under the video with the correct answer will receive candy in their mailbox. Just make sure that your username has your full name in it or you comment your name along with the answer. This video's question is, what is the 10-7 rule? That's all we've got for you this time. Join us in two weeks for more news and fun segments. I'm Trinity. And I'm Michelle. And that's a wrap on this week's Canvas News. More about our fantastic support team. <laughs> <laughs> You're still sitting there.
you're salty about me taking that. You're like, I'm not even saving my life. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs>